Here we go with lick number six, the Collins Shuffle. And uh, we're dedicating this one to the late great Albert Collins and uh, going to do a variation on one of his riffs in the key of D. So now, as you can see in this demo, um, I, I'm adapting the way Albert Collins would play to standard tuning on the guitar. Of course, we're in the key of D, so we're kind of basing around the 10th fret. Now, Albert Collins, as some of you may know, he was in um, one of those, I, I think they used to call it tuning Spanish, and uh, anyone can correct me on that here if, if you need to, but I think, what was it, like open E minor or something, and then he would throw a capo on the guitar, which is a tuning that... I think Albert King used to use it, and maybe even Johnny Guitar Watson would use this open tuning. Um, uh, Johnny Guitar Watson and C Gatemouth Brown and Albert Collins were all from uh, the, of course, the legendary sort of like Texas scene in the 50s, 60s. Um, and uh, they all shared this technique. Um, and basically what it would be like is like uh, it, it would, you utilize open strings all the time. Basically when you, you know, for any of you played with a capo, you know, when you move the capo around, it basically moves the first position wherever you go. So what I'm trying to do with this is sort of find a way to imitate that ring that Albert Collins would get by, you know, capoing his guitar at the 8th or 10th fret and using open strings that are capoed, but doing it in standard tuning. And now one of his licks that he would play is something that would sound like this. So, and it's very important, you know, they used to call him the ice man. So you had the ice pick sound. So everything was like bridge pickup. You know, everything was on the bridge pickup, finger picking. And uh, basically what we're doing is going outside of the standard box of, you know, and we're going up to the major scale here and grabbing ourselves a couple notes at the 12th fret. And then sliding from the major, uh, or I'm sorry, sliding from the minor third into the major third. And there's a million variations you can do on that that he used to do. You know, he'd do stuff like, you know, but it's a great basis. And getting that snap with your finger. And you can even get more percussive if you want. On the demo, I was kind of varying it. You know, sometimes it's like, or, you know, where you sustain it. Or you can go, where you kind of deaden it. And then the next lick is something he used to do a lot, where he would grab the root open and then hammer down on the seventh, on the second string and vibrato it. And then we cap it off with hitting that major triad at the end where we hammer down from the minor to major third. So one more time. And you can vary your picking on that. Or you can just go. Now I think you can hear, I get some really cool overtones and ringing going on that I'm trying to mimic that sound of the open strings with the capo. And of course, when you're grabbing that D at the 12th fret, there's also a harmonic there, which allows you to kind of imitate that sound of like the root sort of ringing underneath. And it gives a pedal tone type quality to your playing. And uh, you may or may not know that Albert Collins was very, very heavily influenced by B3 organ players and even played B3 organ himself. So that's a key technique of B3 organ players is to pedal on a high note and play a riff below or vice versa. So uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, certainly one of the greatest guitar players of all time.